County's Republican Party chair is demanding that elections officials eliminate the new countywide voting centers. That's just one demand Chair Cynthia Brim has given to county elections officials. If they don't comply, the Express News reports Brim is threatening to refuse to sign a resolution next week permitting those joint primary elections in March. Get ready for major traffic delays this weekend on I-10 between 1604 and Bernie. Construction work will close the main lanes in alternate directions at Bernie Stage Road and the main lanes in both directions at Ralph Fair Road for bridge work. Traffic will be diverted onto the frontage road for the duration of the work. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. The New Braunfels City Council has approved a $5.5 million incentive package for Continental Automotive Systems in return for it building a factory that could employ more than 570 workers. The package includes a $3.3 million land acquisition grant and $1.8 million for infrastructure along with a 15% tax rebate for 10 years. To qualify for the incentives, Continental must create more than 440 jobs in New Braunfels by 2023. San Antonio-based Valero Energy has partnered with Houston-based Plains All-American Pipeline on a proposed crude oil pipeline from Memphis, Tennessee to Marshall County, Mississippi. The 45-mile pipeline would link two others, including one that delivers crude to Valero's refinery in Memphis. Thank you, Tony. Links to all these stories at klrn.org news.